Did you know today the American Heart Association has designated as Go Red for Women? So you may see lots of women wearing red today trying to bring awareness to heart disease. Health officials say the same number of women die from heart disease as men, but only a little over 50% of women know that that is the leading cause of death of women in the U.S. So. We're working to change that to help you understand what you need to know about heart disease and how it's different for women compared to men. We are talking with Dr. Paula Ross. She is a cardiologist at Cone Health. And Dr. Ross, women, when it, when it comes to heart disease, we tend to, to think about the symptoms as being something other than a problem with our heart, right? Right. Yeah, we tend to downplay things. Yes. And that's the whole Go Red for Women movement was to increase awareness that, hey, women can have heart disease and it's their number one killer. Symptoms in women tend to occur later than men, mm -hmm. later in life, usually a decade beyond. And the symptoms can be different, although I tell all my patients, man or woman, you may not have classic symptoms. I tell them to look for changes in how they feel, whether you suddenly have shortness of breath that you can't explain, maybe it's a severe nausea, vomiting, a discomfort somewhere else in your upper part of your body, or even abdominal pain. If you can't explain it, you need to seek attention. When, when we talk about a heart disease, how much does your family's history play into this? Uh, it plays a lot, although uh, depending if your family, if you grew up in a family of smokers, it mm -hmm. may not play as much. So you got to look at the habits that they had as well. But uh, we can't trade in our family trees, uh, and we can't trade in that we're all getting older. So those are two things. But there's a lot you can do to improve risk factors and change things, such as watching your weight, exercising, if you have diabetes, taking control. Um, getting blood pressure numbers underlined, and knowing what your cholesterol numbers are. All right, let's talk about those numbers because mm -hmm. lots of people say, okay, I want my heart and my blood pressure to be good, and I, I want my cholesterol to be good, but what is good? So yeah. let's talk about blood pressure first. So blood pressure, in, in the past year or two, they've changed those numbers. We seem to keep ratcheting it down. Oh. People say, what's the new number? And now we're saying, on average, your blood pressure should be less than 130 over 80, 130 over 70. Um, and again, talk to your doctor about that. Some people have low, low blood pressures, and which is fine if you're not dizzy. If you're elderly and you have a little higher blood pressure, talk to your doctor before, you know, making any big changes. And cholesterol. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you have your good cholesterol and your right. bad cholesterol. Right. And it's not just about cholesterol. So I have some people with heart disease who have good numbers, and yet they have heart disease. So it's a lot of things that go into making the final problem. But if you, if you know your numbers, your LDL, that's the bad cholesterol, gets oxidized and it's placed into the wall of the, of the arteries. You want that number to be less than 100. If you have artery disease or you're diabetic, you'd like it less than 70. The good cholesterol, the higher the better. And some people are born with a low good cholesterol, and in which case exercise may help. So again, talking to your doctor, about the age of 21, 23, everybody should know their numbers, know what they're starting with. And don't forget, eat the rainbow right healthy diet and exercise right. every day can That's can right. kind of keep those those genes at bay right yeah the the brightly colored foods fresh foods non-processed meats yes. and i think that's helpful for everything because good heart health is good health from a cancer standpoint it's a good health for just living longer definitely so. dr ross thank you so much thank you. you can take advantage of a support group for women with heart disease it's called heart sisters they do meet monthly you can find the details on the meetings at conehealth.com slash classes. You can also check out other programs and support groups at that web link as well. Just type heart into the search field. House Call on Fox 8 is sponsored by Cone Health.